Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, when the weather is not good outside, I stay inside because today it's just really, really raining and it's nasty and I've changed my plans. And somebody suggested to me doing shrimp and I'm gonna actually do beer battered shrimp. But I'm gonna do two different batters and I've got two different sauces lined up. But also, for me, it's another way to show you how to use tallow. I love using tallow. It's easy to make and uh, let's get to it. So really fast, we're gonna do the sauces first. I'm gonna do a tartar sauce and then I'm gonna do more of a, a traditional red sauce. But I'm also gonna do two different batters. We're gonna use a local beer for a beer batter. And I'm also gonna use pork rinds. Brian suggested to me he's seen this recipe using pork rinds as a batter or the coating. So I figured let's try it and uh, see how it all goes. For the sauces, we're gonna just do them first. Just to get them done, they can sit there, chill out. For tartar sauce, really, we're gonna use mayo, pickles, a little bit of lemon, black pepper, salt, and I've also got pickled jalapenos that I'm gonna dice up nice and fine and uh, get them in there. We're gonna just take some tomato paste, balsamic vinegar, horseradish, salt, pepper, and make our own red sauce. We're essentially making our own ketchup by doing this. We've got the old little uh, food processor out, and these are just pork rinds that I bought. I'm gonna try this out. We're gonna pulse them in here to get uh, like more like a consistency of a flour, or as fine as we can get them. And let's see how this works. Take that off. That's nice. That'll that'll work as a as a coating for the shrimp. We're gonna put that to the side and uh, start making the beer batter now. We're gonna do equal parts regular flour and cornstarch. We're gonna add a little bit of baking powder, baking soda, salt to the dry. And we're gonna actually mix the beer with an egg separately and then add that to the mix so we don't get clumps and all that fun stuff. So we're just gonna put it together now. That's why you add them separately or start them separately because you might not need all of that depending on how much actual dry ingredients you have. That's where I want it. There we go. Now to clean up a little bit and we're gonna get the, uh, the hot plate out here with the tallow going. So we got the hot plate here. I like, personally when I'm doing uh, deep frying, I like a deeper dish or pot in case you have some bubbling up and it's just safer tallow. I gotta say, I can't stress this enough, be careful. Hot oil is, it can be very dangerous. That's why, like I said, I'm using a, a much deeper pot than I normally would. I've got my thermometer because we want to try and reach that 350, 360 degree Fahrenheit temperature. That's a great temperature to, to deep fry in. To cold the oil, it's not gonna crisp up everything. It's gonna make everything very soggy and too hot. You run the risk of burning it before anything's cooked. We hit that magic number, so it is very hot right now. So I'm gonna take some of the shrimp, just dredge them in a little bit of flour because I want them to pick up as much of the, the beer batter as possible. I hope you can hear that. But 
what I've done with these ones, I've got an egg wash. So I'm going to put them in the egg wash to help uh, that pork rind stick to them. So I'm going to finish the rest off and then uh, then we're going to dive in. There we go. Crunchy. Not as crunchy because the pork rinds, I don't know, a little weird. But pork rinds didn't find they stuck as well because they're oily anyways and it's hard to get them to stick. I have to work on that. The beer batter, not a problem. It's got a nice light coating on it. Sherper cooked. A little bit of a crunch, which is good. Mmm. Beer or the sorry, the pork rinds. I like that flavor better though. Crunchy. There's not as much batter on it, but that. But that pork rind flavor really works with that. I, ooh, I like that. Now, to the ultimate. That with a little bit of jalapeno in there, just livens it up. Damn. That's really good. That's way better than any um, jar stuff you buy. Make it yourself. So good. Well, that was a fun experiment. I really like doing these things. And uh, I knew this, the beer batter was gonna work. Wasn't sure about the, the pork rinds, but you know what? I like that flavor better. It's, try it out sometime. It's, uh, well, try both out and you tell me what you like better. Try both of these uh, sauces as well. Easy to make. You don't have to have that store-bought stuff, which you don't know what's in it. Make it yourself, and then you know exactly what's in it. And it's easy to do. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like. Leave me some comments. I really want to know what you think. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and happy eating.